What's up guys? Hope uh, hope you guys are doing well, um, liking the video so far. Uh, before I start this video, uh, for anyone that's on Instagram, um, if you want to follow us, our name's Carly Pool Services. We put a ton of uh, content on there almost daily. Uh, pictures and videos of you know the trucks and all the jobs that we do, uh, stuff like that. So um, give us a follow, Crowley Pool Service. Um, you can also look us up with the hashtag Crowley Pool Services or uh, Crowley Snow Services and you'll find us. So um, so today we're at the shop. Um, got some paperwork going on here. This is like my mobile office in the trailer. Trail is a mess. I got to organize it, I know. But <laughs> um, beautiful day out. It's in the 70s. I uh, got the oil in the Bobcat. We're changing right now. So I'm letting that drain. That's been draining for a little bit. Uh, got the trucks ready to go for the next snowstorm coming Friday. Um, got to move this machine tomorrow. So we got a, quite a few things going on today. Um, today and tomorrow. So um, this video will basically just kind of getting that stuff ready to go. And then Friday we got a snowstorm coming. Uh, looks like 48 inches of uh, kind of messy mix type snow. Um, tough to say. It looks like it's going to be um, kind of like right on the uh, freezing line where it's going to be, you know, snow and heavy but it's gonna be the wet snow and then sleet comes in with rain at the end of it so it is what it is we've had nothing but luck with the powdery stuff this year um but yeah just to give you an update i'm here at the shop um i don't know if you guys have seen our trailer yet but this is going to be my mobile office again this year it's a mess right now but um got a lot going on behind the scenes uh, a lot of paperwork and a lot of uh emails and stuff already for the pool season and being 70 degrees out right now everybody's starting to call things in the pool so um, just to give you guys a little update what's going on um, and what we got going on basically the next uh, couple weeks. Uh, there may not be too many videos coming out in the next couple weeks, I apologize, but um, next week, uh, so we got the storm coming Friday obviously. Uh, Monday, I'm leaving to go to upstate New York for a couple days to a, a training. Uh, we got something in the works, hopefully becoming a, a dealer for a new type of pool that we can uh, sell and install, so that's in the works. We got a couple day training up there in upstate New York. And then uh, I come right back, get right on a plane, go down to Florida for basically a long weekend. I'm uh, going to try to hit the Pl uh, Florida Pool and Spa Show down there. And then uh, take a couple days of vacation, um, relax, stuff like that. Uh, when I get back, uh, we'll be in the second week in March by then. Um, obviously, we're going to keep the trucks, you know, ready to go for snowstorms. But that season's winding down. So um, I do have a couple pool jobs I would like to start doing. So we may have to take the salt spreader out of this truck and uh, convert it back to a work truck. Um, I got a couple above ground pools that we got to demo and take down. A um, bunch of other projects I'd like to start on if it warms up enough. I know this weather's just a tease. <laughs> um, it's supposed to you know, get cold again, obviously, and, and stay normal weather. But uh, I mean, clock is ticking on pool season, uh, snow season, sorry. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to give you guys a little bit of an update. Um, probably won't be many videos, like I said, next week. Um, and then the snow videos will unfortunately start winding down a little bit as we start getting into our, you know, the spring and pool season, stuff like that. Uh, I'm going to do my best during pool season to get videos out regularly. Uh, I know it's probably not what half you guys are here for, but I'll definitely try to keep it interesting and uh, informative, stuff like that. It's not going to be just boring videos either. We do, we do a little bit of everything, you know. Like I said, we got some uh, pool demos to do. Those are kind of cool. Um, Got a lot of stuff. I uh, got a lot of uh, plumbing repair jobs where we got to dig out, you know, lines on the ground and put in new lines. Um, got two more safety covers I got to install. Um, then we got opening season. <laughs> got about 200 and something pools to open. We got a lot going on in the spring. So there's a lot of variety of work that we do and uh, a lot of variety of videos that we'll have out. So it won't be boring stuff. So definitely if you guys are here for snow stuff, give the pool stuff a chance. Um, I'll do my best to keep uh, keep the videos, you know, informative, stuff like that. So, but uh, yeah, that's what's going on today. I'm just waiting for this oil to finish draining in this bobcat here. It's taking a while. Uh, getting some paperwork done in the trailer while I'm waiting and uh, just enjoying this weather. It's absolutely gorgeous out right now. It's actually 71 degrees <laughs> and it's gonna snow in two days, so. Not complaining, not complaining whatsoever. This is beautiful. <laughs> it's, uh, it's a tease though, because I'm, you know, my head started to really think about pool season. But uh, obviously, with the snow coming Friday, we'll go back to thinking about snow for another day or so. And then, like I said, my brain and everything's going to start turning the page to uh, pool season coming up real soon. Um, so that's a little update for you guys. Um, 
I don't know if anybody, like I said, I don't know if I've shown the trailer inside. It's, I know you've seen the outside of it. It's a little bit of a mess right now, but um, this is going to get cleaned up. This is basically my mobile office during the summer months um, where I can kind of keep everything organized. Lists of jobs we got to already do. A lot of stuff up there. PVC plumbing, all that stuff. I'll do a full walkthrough video of this trailer at some point um, once it's organized and clean. <laughs> we haven't really been in it much. This is the, probably the third time I've opened the door all winter. <laughs> so just I got my desk set up here with my laptop right now. It's a little workstation. Um, yeah, just a little update for you guys. Um, I appreciate everybody watching the videos and uh, supporting them. Uh, we're doing doing my best to basically keep the videos rolling every week. Uh, it's been tough, you know. This year's been pretty good because we've had snow, but years past have been tough to keep the videos going. So, yeah, that's an update, and uh, appreciate it. We'll see you guys in a little bit. Set for another 500 hours if the machine lasts that long. That definitely needed it. So, one last thing you should always do Right, the date and the amount of hours on the machine when you do the filters and the oils and all that stuff so that is all set what's up guys we're back it's uh thursday day before the storm as you can see the weather's definitely changed <laughs> yesterday was 70s i was out here in a t-shirt today it's literally 20 the wind chill in the teens it's freezing so <laughs> typical new england weather um got the machine warming up uh getting this push box out of here I got to adjust the cutting edge if you saw one of my last videos the cutting edge in the middle here popped up so I gotta adjust that tighten that up and then we gotta get this over to the, uh, the uh, apartments where this plows get that dropped off and all that so got a couple other things to do gotta get a plow on the blue truck I uh, gotta get this moved over the salt pile I uh, gotta get ice melt in the trucks fuel some stuff up uh, I don't know I got a list of stuff to do so we're gonna let that warm up for a few more minutes. I'm gonna uh, do a couple of things and we'll, uh, we'll get rolling. So here's a good uh, shot of it. You can see how the cut edge dips up here in the middle. So we're gonna fix that right now. Much better. That should be all set. I tightened every single bolt. I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna leave the wrenches in the, uh, 
the trucks or something, we'll put them in the machine just, just in case it loosens up during the storm, but should be good to go. snow banks that I can push back real quick. Uh, just get them out of the way.
machine's all set. Took a few extra minutes, went around, and there was a couple snow banks that were frozen icebergs. So I kind of pushed them back and scraped the ice out. Uh, that way when we're plowing tomorrow, we don't slam into them because uh, they literally just chunks of ice. So all the snow banks pushed back. Most of them are melted. We shouldn't have an issue. I also took a lap around. Some of the snow stakes had fallen out and stuff like that, so I put them back in. So we're all set to go. Going to head back to the shop and uh, get the plow in this truck, and then we should be all set for the storm. All right, we're ready to roll. Uh, everything's all set to go for this storm in the morning, so I'm uh, gonna try to get some sleep tonight. Uh, be out early, gonna start about probably five or six in the morning. Uh, right now the forecast sounds like it's gonna be pretty heavy snow from about uh, 5 a.m. through about uh, 10 o'clock, uh, an inch to two inch an hour rates, and then uh, 10 o'clock onward, it's gonna start changing over to like sleet and freezing rain. And then uh, the last forecast I saw, it was supposed to start wrapping up sometime in the afternoon. So we'll see if that changes, but either way, uh, it's going to be an all-day affair for us tomorrow. We're going to be busy all day and uh, into the night. So we're all set to go, though. All trucks are all set. This is the cleanest these trucks are going to look for the next couple days. <laughs> Still spotless from when I washed them. If you didn't see that last video, um, there's a video I put out uh, a couple days ago of what we do after the storm. Uh, basically me going through washing all these trucks and cleaning them up. Uh, like I said, this is the cleanest these trucks are going to look for a while. Once these things hit salt tomorrow... They're gonna be a mess again and then we have to start the process all over again so there's a lot that goes into these storms that people don't see um the prep work and the, the after storm work uh today alone i mean yesterday i did a couple things uh today i've pretty much been working all day doing random stuff i probably got a good eight hours into just getting prepped for this storm and we were pretty much already prepped these trucks were all set so it's just the little little nitty gritty things that we got to do you know getting diesel for the machines greasing the machines up putting the plow on this truck moving the machine things take time you know had to adjust a cutting edge fix a snowblower like a lot a lot of stuff goes on behind the scenes and then the other video like i said if you haven't seen it yet uh what goes on after the storm um that was a good solid 12 14 hours of work basically cleaning all these trucks up cleaning the spreaders out greasing everything up you know making sure everything works you know looks good and works for the next storm so there's a lot that goes into snow plowing people don't understand you know it's not just during the storm it's it's the before and the after you know a storm like tomorrow we'll probably plow for 14 hours i mean if you add up the whole storm time between the prep and afterwards we're probably a good 30 to 40 hours into just getting ready and, and performing for that storm so there's a lot of work that goes into snow plowing that people don't see but either way we're good to go everything's all set get a good look at these trucks because they're nice and clean tomorrow they'll be a mess with salt <laughs> but uh we'll definitely be pushing some snow in the morning so uh, this is gonna be part one i'm gonna make the next part of this video will be us actually plowing and uh depending on how the storm goes maybe a multiple part video so thanks for watching guys we will see you tomorrow when we're plowing snow